When I was a young child, all I wanted to do was join the Air Force and fly jet planes. I grew up in Devon and there's lots of low-flying aircraft. And when I was a small boy, I remember looking up and saying, one day, I'll do that. Leadership is central to everything we do in the Royal Air Force. As squadron commander, I lead number 31 squadron. It's around about 12 Tornado GR4 aircraft with around about 180 to 190 personnel. I'm really lucky. It's a huge privilege. I've been doing this for uh, over 15 years and I'm still enthused by it every day. The things that really attracted me to the Women of the Leadership Programme was the ability to engage and debate and reflect with other members of society's leadership, people who I've not normally come in contact through my uh, ordinary day job. I did some research and I found that the ethos and values of the programme aligned very much with mine and I was very keen to become part of it. Before I was introduced to the Leadership Trust, I, I was in the police service. I was keen to develop my knowledge of leadership, my knowledge of leadership skills and, and what was required and the Trust's courses afforded me an opportunity to do that in a safe environment. I can remember how I reacted in, in terms of the fact I was far too busy to attend the programme. What I'd underestimated was the richness of the experience and knowledge of leadership that, that I gleaned. If I was describing my Windsor leadership experience, I would say, for me personally, it was transformational. The leadership journey that we all go on as we become more senior, you need to be constantly evaluating the type of leader you are and the type of leader that you want to be. That was indeed the most powerful thing for me, to actually be able to sit back and reflect and take some time out to think about where I was strong and equally where I needed to improve as a leader. So when I turned up on day one of my programme, I was pretty intimidated, if I'm perfectly honest. I didn't know what to expect. And actually, it was very, very soon apparent that we would all get on extremely well and that we all had lots of common issues and lots of common strengths. So I was very quickly put at ease. My first impressions, I must admit slightly shallowly, were the grandeur of the, of the location, the, the castle is a fantastic place, and the quality of the people who I was on the course with. We had uh, senior civil servants, senior police officers, but it wasn't just the government participants. There was industry members, there was uh, engineers from Rolls-Royce, there was uh, representation from the charity sector. All of these came together to make an impressive collection of individuals, and my big takeaway from the first day was the, the openness of everybody involved to, to get engaged in the process. Great leadership is really important when you're a Chief Operating Officer, making sure that you're a strong leader and a consistent leader and a continually improving leader is critical. Many people attending the Trust will be role models, so their leadership styles and the way they lead others will be important, they'll be seen by other people. And I think the ability to be able to engage, infuse and demonstrate a passion for whatever business they're in is, is essential. And that's something that I got from the programmes. Having uh, taken part in the programme, uh, I know that my horizons have been broadened. Uh, I now see the same problem from different points of view. And I have new insights, which undoubtedly will make it easier for me to do my job and better for the future.